Welcome to the Start It, Own It, Finish It podcast with Dat Boy Mo 629 Discussing everything fitness and everything motivation. Here is where you will get your fitness education and motivational fix. Now, here's your host, Dat Boy Mo 629 What's going on, everybody? It's that boy Mo Six Two Nine coming to y'all with another edition to start our own and finish your podcast. We're going to continue the fitness myths series. This is number four, I believe it's number four. I think it's number four. I'm actually recording this in the Kroger parking lot. Just hope ain't nobody staring at me, all kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get it in where I can fit it in. You know what I'm saying? Hell. But anyway, we're gonna talk about the fitness myth uh, that carbs are bad. You know, a lot of people say carbohydrates. There's a fitness myth that says you eat carbs, uh, it's bad and you gain weight, pretty much, you know. What people don't understand is, as far as nutrition, I'm not giving nutrition advice, so before an RD come up in here, or a registered dietitian, or anybody else, nutritionist, or whatever, try to come up in here and slam me. This is common knowledge, right? Common knowledge right here. Um... And it's taught within the fitness, the NASM certification. So this is taught to me so I can regurgitate it. I'm not giving out a meal plan or anything of that nature. So one of the fitness myths out there is that carbs are bad. And uh, what people don't understand is excess. It's always the excess. They say fat is bad. It's excess. Fat is bad. Excess carbs is bad. So carbs are not bad. Carbs are the primary fuel source of the human body right so what people don't understand is is that you need carbohydrates basically to live (laughs) live a regular life and get your energy from it but you don't want to eat carbs in excess like you need to find out how much how many carbs you need that your body need and stay within those uh that number as far as carbohydrates, you need to understand that. You need to figure that out, and you need to work with that. So if you are, let's just say, you're allowed to eat, let's just say, 2,500 calories in a day, then out of those 2,500 calories, you are allowed to get in a certain amount of carbs. Maybe if you want to do it moderately or if you are lifting heavy and a power lifter, you want to uh, eat heavy carbs. The thing about it is it's a fuel so- source. It's basically a fuel source for for uh living your everyday life um and eating excess carbs will as with anything else excess protein excess fat will turn into fat so eating carbs is not bad now there's a whole different spectrum of complex carbs and simple carbs and all that that uh spike your glucose levels and your insulin levels which can then in turn uh slow your metabolism and all that nature that you really have to understand too and that's what people don't really get when they uh, get into the fitness journey and they got certain goals and then when they get these meal plans right and i think uh a registered dietitian and nutritionist can agree with me on this right here when you get a meal plan you need to understand that your body's chemical balance right uh determines like when you get that carb source and how many carbs you eat, how, many, how much protein you eat, how much fat you eat, it, it basically turn your body into a fat burning machine and to reach your goals. Or if you're trying to bulk up, pretty much you can bulk up and gain fat. Because when you bulk up, you're basically gaining fat so you can gain muscle. So you're not in a deficit. You're not maintaining. You're actually building more muscle by eating more so the misconception that people have with eating carbs are bad for you is basically eating sweets so they connect sweets like donuts cakes and all that stuff maybe pizza junk food with carbohydrates and fat so those are two nuances right there that people like to connect together that are bad for you. You eat too much fat, it's bad for you. you eat too much, too many carbs, it's bad for you. You need to understand that there are many different sources of fat. There are different sources of carbs that you can get in. There are, like I said before, simple carbs, complex carbs. There are, you know, uh, good fats and bad fats. So you need to understand that portion of it 
when you're trying to reach your goal. Once you understand and taught that, which I'm going to actually put on my YouTube channel to basically get a, a better idea that people can understand and broken down into simple terms and simple terminology to to dif differentiate the two. So H1 Warrior basically... I want to simplify fitness. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of misconceptions out there. There's a lot of fitness myths. There's a lot of confusion out there in fitness that people just get confused and frustrated over and they just stop. They just stop trying to reach their goal because there's just too much confusion. The goal is taking too long and they're not reaching their goal fast enough. You got to understand it's a process to reach your goal. You didn't get to where you're at right now in the day. You didn't get to where you're at right now in the month. So what you got to understand is what it took you to get to destroy something that may take twice as long to twice as long to repair it. You got to think it takes Rome wasn't built in a day, but it can be destroyed in a day. Buildings can't be built in a day, but they can be destroyed in a day. Villages, cities, you know what I'm saying? Empires take years to build but can take one bad moment to destroy. And you got to treat your body that same way. So if you have a health issue and it took you 25 years to get to that health issue, you can't expect to, to rectify that health issue in a day or a month. So back to the fitness myth. I've got off tangent. Back to the fitness myth. You got to understand, you guys, like the carbs that you eat, right, are not all bad rice is not bad they try to separate brown and white rice one may be healthier than the other to me it doesn't matter right as long as you within your 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 macros and your meal plan and your glycemic index and your your, your glycemic levels are steady and it's not spiking your insulin levels you're okay and what people also don't understand is that uh, after you work out your glycogen levels, right? Your glycogen levels are depleted almost fully after you work out. So after you work out, it is recommended through NASM. It is recommended that after you work out, you do get a sugar spike. And uh, Jim Stopani, Dr. Jim Stopani actually recommends this also. If you want to look him up, he also recommends this also. After you work out, get in, I don't know, a pixie stick, some gummy bears. One of my friends, man, Brandon Thornton, uh, probably shouldn't have said his whole first and last name, but Brandon, <laughs> but Brandon, he gets in gummy bears. He said, you know, he said he like to eat gummy bears after he work out, just to spike his, just to spike his levels. So he he not too depleted and not tired, and he can get it. He can get a glycogen levels back normal after he works out, and then you know get his protein in, and then get his fats in, and all that stuff. See, this this is a whole different world right here when you get into fitness and you got gold and you want to lose weight or you want to build muscle. It's scientific, but it doesn't need to be complicated. You hear me? It's very scientific. It's very, very thorough. You got to be on point. You just can't, you know, just be like, all right, man, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the gym and eat like eat, eat like shit and then get ripped. Unless you got the genetics for that, you know what I'm saying, or take some steroids, you're going to have to follow. <clears throat> you have to follow a pretty, pretty, I can't say strict, but a pretty disciplined Right, meal plan. Pretty disciplined meal plan. Meal plan. Get in your your proper carbs. Get in your proper fats. Get in your proper protein amount. Because at the end of the day, you got these fat diets out here. And I'm gonna say you got keto. I say low fat. That I mean high fat. Basically no carbs. You get you get the you get the hit ketosis and all that stuff and that's what people get confused at because you get these different diets and you see people getting losing weight and getting ripped so it basically kind of uh <clears throat> verifies it verifies the fact that hey maybe they're right man these carbs are bad these carbs are bad but you then you look on the other side of the fence you got somebody that follow if it fits your macros and a 150 pound lady right and getting in 250 to 300 grams of carbs a day and she's pretty pretty shredded you know what i'm saying she's in great shape nice shoulders legs and quads you know what i'm saying probably got almost a six pack and you want to know like what's the deal the deal is is it's all scientific it's all 
you know what I'm saying? Metabolic. You just got to know what you're doing. You have got to have a better idea of what to do when you work out and work out and eat these meal plans and just not fall for every myth and every fad that is sold to you. There are many different ways you can get to. You can you can add up so many numbers to get to 100. There's not one solidified way. 50 plus 50 equals 100. 49 plus 51 equals 100. 1 plus 99 equals 100. There are many different ways to get there. But you got to understand that you, you got to know your body. You got to follow a proper meal plan that's, that, that, that your body can react to. And then you got to do the workout that is fit for your body. So when you get into this spectrum and it's not a cookie cutter it's not a cookie cutter meal plan it's not a cookie cutter workout it's built just for you you will reach your goals at the end of the day you stick to it you'll reach your goals so don't just sit there and fall for the banana in the tailpipe or i'm gonna call it the dumbbell in the tailpipe and be a fidiot f-i-t-i-o-t a fidiot and just believe everything that 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 is said to you because there's a lot of propaganda out there and there's a lot of fake fitness news, FFN, fake fitness news out there that people fall for. And they get discouraged. They spend a lot of money on it because they have gold, they have desires and people prey on those desires. So what you want to do is you want to stick with the real. You want to stick with what what is going to work for you and you want to stick to you want to stick to. What is actually going to get you to the promised land? And in order to find that out, you got to do research or just like I said, follow me. You know what I'm saying? That boy Mo629. I'm not going to uh, steer you in the wrong direction. Everything that I know in fitness, I'm a certified personal trainer now. I'm, I, I got a lot of legitimate sources that I'm sharing with you guys that is just real. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, not trying to sell you on no, on no BS, any of that stuff. Anything that I... Uh, promote to you guys I've already used I've already tried I've already done so at the end of the day it's not me just trying to sell dreams and just me just trying to just trying to help you reach your goals at the end of the day because I know the frustrating time is of an essence time is money you know what I'm saying time is the commodity you can never get back and if you waste your time you get frustrated you get pissed off you quit you be like you know what I don't want to do this no more because it's wasting my time and I ain't got time hell a lot of us if you're on the door you ain't got time to waste so what you want to do is you want to stick to something that actually works, and I'm here to do that for y'all. So at the end of the day, that boy Mo629 hitting y'all with another fitness myth. Carbs are bad. They're not bad. Get you some carbs in. Get you a decent meal plan. Uh, one of the sites that I do follow is if it fits your macro.com. That's a source right there. I'm not an affiliate or none of that nature. If it fits your macro.com, if you want a meal plan, it give, it give you a meal plan. If you pay, I believe, an extra seven dollars a week, they actually give you a grocery list. I did it myself. They give you a grocery list and they give you recipes to fit your macros. I mean, and it's honestly, guys, it's only seven bucks a week. You get the you get your macros for free to put in your email address. You get them for free, your macros, and if you need a little bit of extra help as far as coaching and all that stuff is like an extra 28 bucks a month it's 28 bucks a month seven dollars a week they give you a meal plan you tell them what type of meal you like what stuff you don't like and what they do is they have i guess a natham certified nutrition coach i guess i guess they're natham certified draw you up a meal plan at the end of the day and so you can reach your goal you know what i'm saying within the carb the protein and all that stuff too so get your meal plan ready if it fits your macro.com you can go over there they got a lot of testimonials of people that have been successful that lost a lot of weight just do it try it out try it out for a month you try it out for 28 days you know what i'm saying and don't see no results you got to be disciplined to try this out and you're you gonna see some results i'm telling you right now this site is so reputable that you know a lot of people swear by it, you know, personal trainers, celebrity personal trainer, Chris Jones. He he lived by if it fits your macros, you know what I'm saying? Beach Mo Jones. I follow him too. So at the end of the day, guys, I'm sitting here trying to give you all the resources that I have. So if I get if I know about it and I know that it works, I share it with you. No issue. So uh thanks for tuning in today. Uh started on the finish your podcast. Been cool talking to y'all. I'm in a Kroger parking lot talking to y'all and it's, this has been a hell of a uh i think i think this one have been one of my best episodes because at the end of the day i'm keeping it real with y'all and giving y'all the resources and I'm, i think i'm really turning the curve 
of what I really want to do as far as providing you guys content, providing you guys, you know what I'm saying, the trust in me to help you guys reach your goals. So that boy Mo629 coming to y'all with another edition of the Starter On and Finish Your Podcast, Fitness Myths about cars being bad. They are not. Until next time, you know what it is. Start it, own it, finish it. You've been listening to the Start It, Own It, Finish It podcast. Be sure to subscribe to receive new episodes. Link up with Dat Boy Mo 629 on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Or visit him at aceonewarrior.com. Until next time, start it, own it, finish it. Mm-hmm.